It's an honor. It uh, gives you a sense of the duty I've undertaken and the responsibility I have. It's also nice to meet the new classmates. I'm, I'm very encouraged by uh, them individually. I've had a chance to talk to a number of them, and as you know, there's over 90. So uh, I feel pretty good about the whole process. Now, there are some people who probably think that you know, the, the, the freshman Congress people don't start working until the new year. They, they take over office. What are you doing right now? Well, I think they're, they're right about that. But, it, you know, it's quite a process. You have to hire a number of people. You have to set up an office. It's a little bit like running a small business, which, of course, I've done all my life. So it's what I've learned so far is, is not that much different than what I've done all my life. I'm very comfortable with the process. I just look forward to starting the actual work. What are your main priorities when you do go in and I you wanna, do take office? My number one goal starting out is to have the best constituent service offices in the country. I mean, that's my dream. That's what I'm going to work for. And uh, that's our goal. So I think you do that, you've done a lot of the job right. Okay, a lot of the questions people are wondering about right now, extension of the Bush tax, tax cuts, where do you stand on that? Who knows what's going to happen with that. You've seen some offers of compromise. So I'm going to wait and see and watch what happens. So uh, that may happen now. Who knows? It could happen in a lame duck session. Okay. Um, th they're offering a, a leadership position in the GOP to uh, some new incoming freshmen. Would you be interested in that? Yeah, I would. Of course I would. I'm interested in uh, moving up as quickly as I can, getting to a place of responsibility. I think the more you know, the more responsibility that you have, the, the better leader you can be and the better representative you can be for your district. So that's my goal is to be the best representative I can possibly be for each and every one of the 600,000 plus people in my district. I know you enjoyed the support of some Tea Party uh, people, uh, Tea Party groups in your uh -huh. district. Do you consider yourself aligned with the Tea Party? Where do you stand on that? I'm aligned with anybody who's upset with the government that they see today, and I think that's everybody, frankly. Democrats, Republican, Tea Party people, independents, conservatives, you name it. Everybody has a complaint about the government. I, I respect their right to do that, and uh, to the extent that it's uh, thoughtful and civil, I'm absolutely with them. And what I've heard so far is just exactly that. Now, obviously, uh, you have capitalized on voter, some of the status quo, the way things were. You know, the Democrats came in uh, on a wave of voter anger to a degree when they came in. How do you avoid ending up like them? You do your job. Uh, I think that's how you avoid it. You do what people pay you to do. That's solve problems. Uh, not demagogue, not plant your feet, not make it look like there's two parties at war with themselves. But you do what they're paid to do. Seek out solutions regardless of where they come from. There's a lot of people in your party who are already talking about taking a hard line and not compromising with the president. What do you think? Is it too early? To, are you going to get your feet wet and decide? Or are you going to take a hard line? Are there certain things you won't compromise on? I'm sure there are, but there's many things I'm sure that we'll be able to work together with. I, I don't feel that way. And I, I think that ultimately, if the Republican Party takes that kind of posture, then they will be punished again in two years because people are sick of partisanship. And uh, I think that if you live in New York, you have a particularly good view of what that can do and, and the product it makes over time. So uh, that's not my goal. My goal is, as I said, find solutions and work for them. Do you support repealing health, the, the health care initiative? I would rather see something. Let's face it. What we need in this, in this country is, is a good, progressive uh, health care reform bill that does what we ultimately wanted it to do, and that's provide health care for people at a reasonable cost. We don't have that. But there are aspects of this bill that I, I frankly like. I think uh, people should be insur uh, should have the right to insu be insured for pre-existing conditions. I also think that we need tort reform and another other, a number of other things. So uh, if, if it winds up being repealed, so be, it, so be it. But I believe that ultimately it's both parties' responsibility to come up with something that the public finds affordable and palatable in a lot more ways. Uh, the the unemployment benefits could possibly expire. Well, what's your take on that? Uh, 99 weeks. I think it's enough. And last question I'll ask you is, just to sum it up, what, what kind of, of leader, what kind of representative do the 600,000 plus people in your district, what, what can they expect out of you? A guy who would rather be with them than here. This is where a lot of the work done, is done, but uh, meeting the people of the 24th Congressional District in New York, staying with them, learning their concerns, understanding the district, trying to fix problems locally through this office down here, that's my goal. Uh, this is all wonderful and grand, but my home, my family, the people I care about are right in the 24th District, and uh, frankly, uh, the less time I spend down here, 
the better. Is it hard to remember that when you're caught up in all this glitz and glamour all. of no, this opening? I've had, a, I've had a great life. This is uh, beautiful buildings, wonderful people, a lot of great ideas. My home is upstate New York. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for doing it. It's my privilege. Appreciate it. Yep.